certain that today someone else will die, and I can't stop it. Now it's even worse. I know who's gonna die. Not all of them will. Yeah? Juan Alvarado, an archaeologist living in Cusco. He didn't join us until Peru. Juan Alvarado? You keep in touch with him? Not really. Were there other people involved in the expedition? Yes, Joaquero. Go on. Joaquero was a local grave robber, an amateur. He appeared when we were totally devastated and on the retreat, offering his help. And? And then he demanded an outrageous payment, and we parted ways with great ill will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an important call to make. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an important call to make. Gotta hurry. No time for sightseeing. It's good we met. Are you waiting for Warren? We're going out. Although I'd prefer to go with you to the concert. Hmm. Well, maybe when I finish this case. I can hardly wait. I found out a little more about the Peruvian expedition 20 years ago. Do you, uh, keep in touch with Mr. Alvarado? No, not for a very long time, but we used to be friends. Why is he of interest to you? The murders are all occurring within a specific group of people, and Alvarado's part of it. Yes. Yes, he is. Do you think he could be the murderer? Well, I don't have any proof to that end. Do you think, then, that it's a Koga Pachiros Indian curse? No. Neither do I, but if our murderer was on this expedition, and if it's neither Warren nor myself, then it must be Alvarado? Why should I suspect a man who lives in Peru of murdering people in New York? Alvarado was in town at the same time, of course. What? In New York City? Are you sure? He called me. I was frightened he was trying to track me down. Do you know where he is now? He left a message that he was returning home, back to Peru. I hope it's true. We'll look into it. Do you have his address? Well, he sent me a letter postmarked in Manhattan. Had a photo of his house in Cusco in it with the address and a note. I showed it to Warren this morning. Could I see it, please? Well, here's the thing. There was a bit of a mess in the museum this morning. They were cleaning the showpieces that hang from the ceiling, and I had to literally push my way through between them. It must have been squeezed out of my pocket then. Right. I'll find it. Look. If anything suspicious happens, you call me straight away, okay? Please. Ruth? Nicole? Yes? I need you to check South American flights out of the country in the last five days. Looking for a Juan Alvarado, archaeology professor, flying to Cusco, Peru. Okay, I'll get right on it. Thanks, Ruth. Gotta hurry, no time for sightseeing. Gotta hurry, no time for sightseeing. Mr.
Mr. Branford's waiting for you outside. Oh, they were objects of little significance, and I soon forgot about them. Did he also smuggle drugs inside exhibition pieces? No, never. He pushed me to, but I never allowed it. Did he pressure the others, too? I thought... I thought that he murdered them to get at me. Why didn't you inform the authorities? What are you talking about? I spoke to your man Chaser about the whole thing. Chaser, yes of course. Did you find the legendary city in the end? Akakor? Well, we thought so, back then. But we couldn't go back again. It's, it all seems like a dream now. Last thing, are you sure you don't want protection? Thank you, no. This place is swarming with police. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an important call to make. Here, an antique house in Cusco, hence the dedication. Here, an antique house in Cusco, hence the dedication. Nicole? Yeah. Hi, Ruth. Alvarado left the country already. Hopped a flight to Peru. Uh-huh. That's great. Thanks. Listen, is the chief there? Not at the moment. You know what? Book me two tickets on the next plane to Cusco, Peru. Visas for me and Nick. And a hotel. Be cheaper if you share a room. Leave me alone. Does Nick know about all this? Not yet. I'll call him now. Okay. Thanks, Ruth. Please leave a message after the beep. Nick, we're going to Peru with this serial killer thing. Call me or Ruth back ASAP. Don't let me down on this.
Okay, everything's arranged. Thanks. Has Nick called in yet? No. Is the chief back? Yes, he's in. Shall we? I've got a major update on the investigation. I'm all ears. I've established a few facts. All the victims were part of an academic expedition to the Amazon over 20 years ago. Professor Dickinson, his daughter, and another student named Noel Roche all tragically died during the expedition. Our friend Hakiero helped evacuate the survivors. He also helped them smuggle some minor artifacts out. Of the entire expedition, the only currently living survivors are Warren, Branford, and Alvarado, who is now an archaeology professor living in Cusco, Peru. All are potential victims, and all are potential killers. Why? Well, I don't have any real strong evidence yet, but all my leads come back to the expedition. So something happened down there that 20 years later is causing our wannabe quartermains to rip each other's guts out. Looks that way. I just don't know what the something is. So I'm going to fly down to Cusco and talk with this Alvarado character. I can't authorize that. They won't let me. It's about four countries outside our jurisdiction. Look, if he's not the murderer, he might open up to me. I've got a picture with a dedication he made for Branford. Can I see it? Well, well. So, maybe I'll find out what their little rumble in the jungle was. But if Alvarado is the doer... Then he had to have been up here for the last few weeks. And so he was. Shit, this is getting more and more iffy. Hmm. Well, we can ask the Peruvian police to...
dusky cafe in Cusco. Maybe he'll drop by for a coffee. Huh. Look, just make sure he gets everything he needs for the investigation. Don't worry. I'll staple the note. secretaries. I promise I'll dust you. See you soon anyway. Yeah. Hey, don't forget the postcard. I won't. See you.